65 Ford has a great video showing how to turn an old dryer that's functional into a shop heater. He spends a lot of time getting it into a smaller unit because you don't need that big drum just to generate heat. The problem with that that he ran into, and he fixed the problem well, but the problem he ran into was airflow. You need airflow running across the heating element so it doesn't immediately kick off because if there's no airflow, the element heats up, overheats, the sensor in it kicks it off. And you need that airflow in there cooling the heating element down so it keeps it stays on the way a, a dryer normally works air is drawn in through that vent inside the drum via a fan down here that also turns your drum around and then that fan of course pushes the air out the the dryer vent that you normally have to exit out your house to get the heat and moisture out of your house but that suction created from drawing in the air from the drum sucks air through these vents to your heating element. And your heating element needs that airflow so it will stay on. Otherwise, without the airflow, it just heats up and then overheats and then immediately kicks off. There's a sensor in it that will kick it off. So what happens when this is running, air is drawn in through here, goes through the heating element that's down here at the bottom, and then comes up through just a little bit of duct work. And exits out this vent here. So air goes in here via the fan and then is drawn in from the room from right there. And so you'll save all the labor of producing this thing and then you'll have a work area the rest of the year. You lose all the storage underneath. That's the worst part. But the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to direct that heat that comes off of this thing into your shop using an elbow or something. Normal dryer vent, whatever. You can decide how you want to do that. So it's not immediately sucking the already heated air back in and reheating a portion of the heated air. So you get as much air as hot as possible in your shop. But I'm just going to save the labor, do it this way and be glad I have a little extra work area. So I wanna encourage you guys to do the same. If uh, space is at a premium in your shop, well then you're gonna to have to do it the 65 Ford way, but uh, you'll probably have, you know, six or eight hours of labor in that thing, getting the duct work to work appropriately. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe.